This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. What's going on guys? So it's Friday night, I'm on call. And uh, so they've got some problems. So they uh, said their system's offline. Not sure if that uh, is an actual network problem or what. I don't know if the controller's in there. Let's go up here to the top one that I'm used to. That's a new protocol system. And let's see if uh, it's got a problem back here. Okay, it seems awfully quiet. It's not a good thing. That's running. That one's running. Alarm. Device absent from something. This is always the fun part. Uh, started today. Yeah, today is the 31st. So it started acting up. We had some problems back on the 23rd. No three phase power. Alarms are reset. We've got application configure. So we got some weirdo stuff. This has been going on for a little while now. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let's go alternate in. So we've got we got a 16 analog that's offline, and we have a relay out offline. But everything else seems to be on online, so I don't know what's going on here. So basically, from what I'm seeing, uh, board six and relay out six. Some of that can be in here, potentially. So, maybe it's in here, maybe it's not. You got five, four, there's a five. Yeah, there's no six in here, is there? I don't think there's anything in this one. Yeah, nothing down here. Okay, I wonder if it is. Let's see what we got on this thing. Everything on this one's all up to date and good, fine, no problem. That is uh, roof. This is all your HVAC stuff. Huh. I wonder if that is the thing downstairs then. Let's look at our circuits here and see if we got an actual problem with any of the any of the uh, refrigeration. So all of our set points are fine. Um, A2, D2. A2 is the master system for defrost. All systems must defrost at the same time. That's unusual. I wonder if by chance this is controlling um, the system downstairs. It could be. I'm not sure. They had... Uh, another company install it, even though I think we might have done some of this. I believe it's mainly like these communication deals right here, which, you know, obviously those are all connected. I've never seen that board before. That's really weird. And they kind of all daisy chain just like any other ordeal. They all seem fine there, 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 there. I mean, they're all, three's not really doing much. That's, I've never seen that before. It's A5. Um, this might be what's controlling downstairs, and that's a new board. I'm almost positive of it. Look how it's blinking. There we go. Kind of knocked it off. See if it finds it now. 
not really a network guy. Um, six and six. Now it's acting stupid. May just kill this whole system and have it start over. Okay. Let's see if that turns her off. Still not connecting back to this thing yet. It's still not happy about what I did to it. Okay, let's turn that back on. Let's see if it can boot back up. Let's see if it can find everything. Let's see what happens. Here's the other board. That one's kind of new too. Never seen that one, so that's definitely probably controlling that one downstairs and so is that one there so it's finally starting to boot up okay we're still on alarm one of them some of these are unknown this is this one down here let's see here the circuits looking fairly okay it's in defrost Control network here on this one. Control N. These are all online, no problems there. Analog six, there is no analog six on this one. It appears this one here is fine. It's just reporting back to the other one over there. All right, so they love putting their boards out here in these freaking units. As you can see, we have a lot of water in there and this big man's straws to feet, if you don't trip over things, is right here. This was uh, was acting up, and now it's uh, now it's acting okay. Let's see if we can get rid of the bees here. They're still sleeping in there. Look at that, son of a gun. Bye bye, little bees. Bye bye. So that thing was all wacko. Just hoping to blow any moisture out of it. It's starting to act better. are starting to come on they were all shut off a second ago see your uh, temperature sensor that actually looks like okay there's some sensors here they have input it in and they weren't uh, quite right okay this is looking better drop leg earlier was 38 degrees uh, okay we're out of alarm now imagine that right so, let's do alternate in. Look at that, they're all online. Good, 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 good gravy. Still don't know why this thing's doing what it's doing, but. And then you kind of ignore number one, I think. But I don't know, I'd have to get my, I have a cheater chart thing, it tells you. Look at all these little, things they've got going on. Somebody's unhooked these. Gotta love that. And that one here seems to be... Seems to be doing its thing. All these bad things happened right around 1928. Well, you come down to here and I can hear a surging going on. On my... Uh, liquid drain valve here. They're going whoosh, 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 like a choo-choo train. Well, my receiver level is zero. They have a liquid level here. Let me see if I can find it. It's under sensors. Printer level, there it is, zero. So, scroll down here real quick. And if you look at it, and then you trend it, go log and scroll down everything was fine until 1930 and 9 yeah there see we were plenty high before so what we've done is we've gotten refrigerant trapped up there on the freaking roof and it's not super cold but 
we're going to uh, go up here and pull some wires off, make the fans stay off till we can get it warm enough. It should drive that liquid back down here. Okay, we got one fan, that's it. Running, it's not a lot. Okay. So we're coming up cold on this one and that one. This one here's pretty, pretty warm and that's going back mediocre. So we don't, I don't think they even got a split on this thing at all. That's crazy. Yeah, those are colder and I'll get out unless they're splitting them down there. But since the, oh yeah, yeah, they're split. All right, good. So for all we know, it could be that one there's trapped. So let's, uh, Turn those fans off until this starts getting warm coming back, and then we should go back down there and check it and see what we get. I don't know what else you're gonna do. There's, luckily, it's not stupid cold, because if it was, it's a real pain in the pooper. Okay, so here's those fans. Try not to get your butt shocked. Yeah, I took that one out. That one. And that one. And that one, is that all of them? We might have one more. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll put, we'll, we'll see how that does. So, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm loving it. All right, so we're gonna feel this until it starts coming back hot on the other side. Hopefully that, ooh, yeah, it's starting to get. Top, don't want to hold on to it. Bottom's not bad, so we'll wait for a little bit here. Okay, we got this coming back from the condenser. It's still not very, very warm. And they all tie together, so you've got to the split. Almost seems like it's trying to send it there. I don't know if that light means it's sending it or not. If it is, that's kind of a problem. So, I mean, you definitely can feel more heat going to that way. That's cold, and see this here is a drain. So it comes across, and it should come back over to here, and eventually come to there, and see liquid should come out of it. And that's to drop the liquid back in there. I mean, that's a very, very slow ordeal. Uh, you can feel it's cold, so it's definitely draining back. I just wonder, are we having issues with that? I'm gonna close that thing just to make certain. Kind of condensed things a little bit. Man, I, it's about everything I normally use. I'm sitting there carrying that heavy bag around lately. So let's see if we can close the split here just to make certain until we get this thing back to normal. There we go. All right, so all of my cases are at temperature, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, play it by ear, see if they call back in, but at this point, there really ain't a whole lot we can do. I have pretty much uh, exhausted every effort to drive the head pressure up. I've gotten it up to 250, and then brought on a fan, and it's coming back warm, so we're just gonna go ahead and let it go, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, racks at zero but I think with these EPRs that it's trapped out there on the uh, on the rack out in the uh, store to be honest with you because these things here will choke down as they get close to temperature which they are right at temperature and that's gonna force liquid out there but why it just all of a sudden now is doing it I don't know um, it's all draining back to the to the suction header through the split valve it appears the split valve is uh, lit up when it's actually bypassed or in split, which this thing is not split. You can see that right uh, somewhere in here. Yeah, it was in there somewhere. It's just a pain in the butt. I hate the way they got this thing laid out. It kind of sucks. So anyhow, we're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Later.